So this is a video manual for the Olympus OMG. It's a part of the OM family of Olympus SLRs. The OMG, also known as the OM20, was released in 1983. It has an electronic shutter, uses two LR44 batteries, and is fully manual, and it also has a shutter priority mode. So it's a little SLR. Um, I wanted to check these out because I heard that they are kind of like the third wheel in the um, SLR um, groups behind yeah, Nikon and Canon, and the, the OM series is just really well respected. And it feels pretty good, pretty well made camera. On the front, um, how to change the lens, you're going to see that on the top left the right of the camera is a little um, lens release. So you're going to take it off first, and then to put it on, um, you'll see real easily right here, you're going to line up the red buttons first. And that little uh, notch right there is the lens release. You just turn it to the right, and you're going to hear a click when it's um, fully set. Change it, to change your ASA ISO, you're going to pull up on a knob on the top right of the camera. Just turn it left or right. Also, that knob it controls exposure compensation, which is a really great feature for a camera like this. Um, negative 2 to plus 2. And that just really helps you out in different lighting situations. Also on the top is a soft timer. You're going to pull it down and then advance the shutter. And then once you hit it, a light will blink in the front of the camera. So metering modes, um, a couple modes here. Check is battery check. Auto means that the camera is going to like select the shutter speed. And then manual means that you're going to select the shutter speed. And then bulb is bulb mode. How do you change your shutter speed on the top of the camera? And sorry, this is a little blurry, but you're going to move that dial right there. That's just going to change the shutter speed. The middle ring is actually a focusing ring, which I haven't seen very common. It's usually on the top, but this one in the middle ring is a focusing ring. The very top ring is a shutter. It's going to where you're going to select your aperture. So how do you load your camera? First of all, you're going to pull up on the film rewind crank. It's going to release the back, place the film in upside down, and then pull the film into the right, into the spools. There's some catches in there. Then I usually advance the um, shutter uh, advance the film a couple times just to make sure that's tightly in there so this is what it should look like when it's in so just keep on advancing it don't advance too much but just two or three times should be fine so once you have the film in there and you want to rewind it you're first you're going to simply look on the front of the camera and the film rewind knob turn it as so then you're going to just um, turn the rewind clock clockwise you're going to feel it and hear it when it's finished rewinding. And when it is finished, you're going to simply then pull up on that film rewind knob and it's going to release the back and you can take out the film. On the bottom of the camera is the battery compartment. It uses two LR44 batteries, which are really cheap. I buy mine at um, Harbor Freight. It comes in a blister pack and I think it comes with four LR44 batteries for around three dollars, along with a lot of other batteries. Two other small things about this camera: there's a flash sync port on the um, front right side of the camera, and then also on the lenses there is a depth of field preview button. Hope you guys enjoyed the manual. Thanks.